Robert Pattinson got announced to be the Batman, ladies and gentlemen. I put this camera on, turned the light on, I posted it to the YouTube, and the video was pretty much me taking the mick out of it, thinking I can't believe they're doing this, and when the Batman movie came out, I put my hands up and I said I was properly wrong. I gave it 10, God tier. Which is the same rating I gave the first Joker movie. However, when they announced Joker 2, way before any of that musical nonsense, I said, I have a bad feeling about this. And this time, ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't wrong. I really, really didn't like this movie. It's not bad but it weren't great. Somewhere in the blurry middle bit of it. The story of Joker 2 pretty much picks up right after the first movie. He's dealing with what he's just done in prison, he, the trial. If you've seen the trailer, you, you know what's going on. There's nothing, no hidden like craziness. The trailer is the movie. And this time you have Harley Quinn played by Lady Gaga in the movie. And there's the storylines and she's like a super fan. And you get it. You've seen the trailer, you know what's going on. The story was fine-ish, I guess. It didn't feel like Joker 2. It felt like Joker 1.5 or maybe even Joker 1.3. I would have rather they just combined both movies together and had some big ass movie if this was the initial plan. I don't think it was. I think the plan was make Joker 1, but the studio saw a billion dollars and they went, we love money. So the story is fine. Do you know what I mean? If they're going to force a second movie. I guess this is kind of how it's going to play out, but was it good? Not really. It had bits that were very good. It tied into the first movie. A lot of the mental health side of stuff in this movie was very, very nice. There are things that I really didn't like. They're spoilery, so I'm not going to talk about them. Joaquin Phoenix, again, brings the A game and the, the acting of Joker. He's just got to it. He's just a phenomenal actor. His Joker performance is so good. I feel weird in saying, though, that Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn did steal the show, even though I think, obviously, she's a god tier, like, singing and when she's like screaming and vocals and all that stuff on screen it was amazing but I do feel like she was kind of underutilized like she's in the movie very much a side character not a main character to Joker she's a side character so if you're going into this thinking it's like a 50 50 split it definitely ain't that but she is for what she does get and I wish there was more she's very very good but I tell you what is 50 50 mate the bloody musical sad stuff and I said this in the second video of me crying about this movie about a year and a bit ago. I don't like comedy movies. When I'm watching MCU or anything like that and they've got the comedy in, I like that comedy. I might not laugh, but it's fine because the main thing ain't comedy. If I'm watching a through and through 100% comedy movie, it's just not for me. So I like try my best not to watch them. However, the thing I like even less than comedy is bloody musicals. I just think they're cheesy and it, it's just not for me. I'm not the target audience of a musical, but believe me when I say, bro, this movie is 50% Joker and then the other 50% is a musical and it really rubbed me up the wrong way, man. Maybe if you're being fair, maybe it's a 60-40 split, but it felt like 50-50. There is so much unnecessary singing, bruv. And Lady Gaga, respect. The music it hurt, it's too good. The talent is unbelievable, but it's just not what I want from my goddamn Joker movie. And that's absolutely fine if you'd like it. Just it's not for me, you know. And it really made me sad, man. Real talk. When they're they're doing things in the musical side of stuff, like oh, I'm not going to go into spoilers, but I would have just liked them to go, no, no, stop singing, just talk, because that's what made the first movie so good. Talk, explain stuff, moody, gritty scenes, and it just kind of gets lost in this like blur of music, and it just weren't for me, mate. I actually don't know who this movie was for, and I don't think the studio director or anyone knew who this was for, because if you die hard on that first movie, this is so different that you're going to notice that, and you're going to be like, this feels like a money grab, bro. Real talk, like they just had to make it and quirky and make it a little bit different and it doesn't serve the story in ways that I hoped maybe, please, it, it would, but it didn't, bruv. I'm not gonna say it's a musical because Lady Gaga's in it. I, I think that, if you're saying that, I think that's waffle uh, because Lady Gaga, when she's not even singing, she's probably the best bit of the movie, if I'm being honest. I just don't get it at all. Like, real talk, I, I, I've tried my best. I've sat in this chair for like 10 minutes with the camera running and I can't work out how to like articulate it well enough but the only thing I can say is that I don't know who this is for I just know it wasn't for me but maybe there's people out there that are gonna die on the hill of saying that this is unbelievable but I, I can't see it do you know what it feels like and this might be an exaggeration but it feels like a last Jedi situation where some people were like nah bruv I feel like this is kind of gonna be that also the final thing mate or the final nail in the coffin the ending no spoilers do not worry the ending 
Woo! It's not for me, bruv. Um, yeah, I did not like that ending. One bit. Um, you've probably seen things online of people complaining. Some people saying it, it's, it's, it's nice and something not, but I think like even the ending alone is a 50-50. So now you have 50% of people liking or not liking the movie, and then you're like chopping them in half again, giving them some dodgy ending, which I didn't like. This movie, I wouldn't say it's disappointing. Yeah, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it, but if I'm being honest, sadly, I probably will never watch it again. And for that score, that movie always gets the same score, and it is Joker 2, five nerds out of ten. Yeah, I'm sure you can sit here and be like, the cinematography, the music, it's, a, it's an art form, and it's molded together, and it's a masterpiece. Ah! I'm sure there's people who are going to do that and break down frame by frame how this is beyond God tier. But for me, I ain't one of those people. So I've just watched this as a Joker fan. I didn't like it. And that's about it. Take care, guys. If you enjoyed it, let me know. See you in a bit. Peace.